social media is for sharing. And of course, it's excellent if people share your content online. But are you happy with what you see when someone shares a post or page from your site? Or do you think you could make your social posts look even better? With Yoast SEO Premium, you won't have to worry about what your posts and pages look like every time someone posts them on their timeline. How? Well, because with Yoast SEO Premium, you can set and preview what your social shares on Facebook and Twitter look like. Ready to learn how it works? We start in the post editor. There are two places where you can edit your social posts. One is at the bottom of the screen, in the social tab of the Yoast SEO meta box. The other one is in the Yoast SEO sidebar, where you will see two tabs, the Facebook and Twitter preview. So let's edit some social shares here. I'll start by editing the Facebook share for this post. To start, we click on the Facebook tab in the sidebar, and a pop-up window opens. Now let's talk about adding the image, since it's the first thing I can do here. If you have images in your post, the plugin will automatically pick one, as it did for this post. It usually selects the first image in the post and sets it here in the preview. Another scenario is using a featured image. Let me add one and show you. See? Because I set a featured image for the post, the plugin ignores the other post images and it uses the featured image as a cover. If I didn't have any images at all, I would still be able to add one. Right now, I see the replace image button. But if there was no image to replace, you would see a button with the text select image on it. So click on it and upload or add an image from the media library. If you change your mind, you can use the Remove Image button, and then the plugin will automatically place back the featured image, if you set one, of course. The next thing you can do is add or change the title. You can, of course, keep the SEO title you already have for the post. But you can also get creative and use something completely different. Whatever fits the needs of your audience. A cool thing you can do is use variables in the title. For example, you can add a separator, like a line or a dot, and add your site name. So the final version of the title can look something like this. The last input field is for the description. Just write a short description of the post here in one or two sentences. Make sure it's informative and complete, so people will be tempted to click on it. Something like this. And make sure all your text fits in here. Otherwise, it may get cut off. That was it for Facebook. Let's click Update or Save Draft if you haven't published it yet, and move on to Twitter. Let's click this tab, and we get the pop-up window. This preview is automatically filled in with the data you used for the Facebook preview. But of course, you're free to edit it. An interesting thing with Twitter is that it has two preview modes. One is called a summary with a large image, and the other mode is called a summary card. Let me show you where you can switch between those modes. Go to SEO, then Social, and then click on the Twitter tab. The last setting here is the card type. To change it, click on the drop-down menu and select the preferred card type. In this case, I want to show you the summary, so I will select it. Don't forget to click Save Changes. Now, back to the post. See how the post is different now? I prefer the one I had before. It was more attention-grabbing, right? And that is how you can control your social shares. Now that you learned it, go and have fun with it.